What are the best business banking accounts? Checking accounts for your startup or small business. We're going to review two business bank accounts that I actually use, know, and I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each. By the end of this video, you will know how to sign up for a business checking account with an LLC using your EIN. Hi, I'm Emily Bender, the founder of Wealth Voice and Beetle Moment Marketing. I am a speaker, entrepreneur, consultant, strategist. I have two businesses and I use business checking accounts and have for years. In my YouTube videos about filing an LLC, which are linked in the description below and I'll link in the clickable box above, this will show you how to set up an LLC. You can do it yourself for zero dollars. Don't have to pay LegalZoom or anybody. Make sure you check that out first if you don't have an LLC yet. Otherwise, keep watching. We're gonna go over my two favorite business bank accounts, Mercury and Chase. If you watch a bunch of other videos here on YouTube, you're gonna see people reviewing like five different bank accounts. Chances are they have not actually used all of them. Yes, you can tell from their websites, the basic features and all that, so I'm not discounting the verity of these other videos, but I'm gonna give you my actual customer experience and this video is not sponsored at all. The first bank I wanna talk about is Mercury. This is banking built for startups. When I started Wealth Voice, which is a tech company, I wanted a bank that was high tech and Mercury really fits the bill. I've been very happy with them so far. Let's talk a little bit about the pros of Mercury Bank. Mercury Bank is banking built for startups, banking stack for startups. They have checking and savings accounts, custom made tools. They have an investor network. There's a thing called the Tea Room, which you can get if you have, I believe over 200,000, like for a bigger account and you get startup benefits from that but the basic free checking account is great. You get your business debit card. You can use this, but of course I recommend that you pay for everything on a credit card. Watch my other videos on best business credit cards, Chase Trifecta, all of that linked below because otherwise you're leaving money on the table if you're paying with a debit card. But they give you one, it's a good backup to have. Mercury, okay? It's a financial technology company, not a bank. Don't you love that? Just like Domino's is a tech company, not a pizza restaurant. Mercury is really good for startups, but I think it's great for any small business. Maybe you have a flower shop. Maybe you have a dog walking business. Maybe you have an Instagram influencer business. It's good. Just Mercury is awesome. You get a lot of perks also. There's, I mean, I think there's like four dozen different perks here. The ones that I like the best, QuickBooks Online, 40% off for six months. Neotax, I've never used this, but that's a tax filing service like TurboTax or Tax Act. Up to $1,000 on Snapchat. You can earn Ad Quick for advertising. These are great. Loom. 25 free seats if you have a lot of employees or people that need seats on Loom. Awesome. Ship station. If you're shipping anything, maybe you have an Etsy shop, you can ship 30 days free plus more. These are all perks you get with the Mercury checking account. It's a free account. You're just storing your money there. You can also put some money in the savings account to earn interest on it. I just use the checking account because I actually like to, I don't want my money sitting in any savings account. Mostly I'll just be investing it. It's, it's gonna lose money <laughs> sitting in a savings account because of inflation, by the way, shouldn't have a lot of money sitting there. Um, but that is something for you to ask your financial advisor. AWS, up to a $100,000 credit. Awesome, you can use that for storage. Oh, better legal, $150 off. Maybe you need to ask an attorney to fill out your terms of service or privacy policy, which you should have on your website. And, oh, Notion, this one's good. If you use Evernote, Notion is a better note-taking service. I actually am still on Evernote because I'm an OG 11 years of my life there. Like, I can't switch. I tried. But Notion is beloved. Like, check it out if you need a note-taking app. It's very robust. HubSpot for startups, Zendesk. Like, there's so many. You guys can check this out, mercury.com slash perks. Let's talk about the actual checking account, though. Oh, this is actually what the dashboard looks like. Obviously, this is a demo. It's not my... That Sure, that's my balance. <laughs> okay, so you get to see... This is exactly what it looks like. You see the money in, money out. It's so just the UI is clean. It's clearly a tech company, okay? It doesn't feel like a bank. It feels like an app. It feels like something better. So the pros with Mercury are you get all of those cool perks, like different discounts and coupons and all that, but there are free wires, which I love. I sent money to one of my vendors the other day who he just is starting out. He's a small business. He does YouTube editing and he didn't have a business checking account. And when I sent him a wire, he had to pay an $18 fee. You don't eat fees will eat away at you. Don't pay fees. You can avoid them. Set up a free business checking account. I do recommend Mercury. I'm going to talk about Chase in a second here, but the UI on Mercury, you guys, like 
it it feels like how banking should be and everything when you do the whole application process it's so slick and easy there are things where when you fill it out on chase you have to kind of read between the lines guess do research mercury it's a drop down it's like which which of these apply to you i know you're a small business or a startup you don't have to fill in the blanks on things if that makes sense the customer service is great the free wires um just the dashboard and it syncs with everything like if you're taking payments on stripe or whatever credit card processing like let's say you have e-commerce it'll just come right in it looks good highly recommend they're, they're a san francisco based startup check them out on twitter i'll put links below to all of this so you guys can do some research of your own but if you have a startup like especially if you're in tech use mercury it's awesome okay let's talk about chase business checking i opened my first chase business account back in 2016 or 17. you get a debit card Again, don't use a debit card. Get the Chase Inc. so that you're earning 5x on office supplies. Get the Chase Trifecta. Make sure you watch my video about credit cards below. I'm telling you, one of the main reasons you want to have a business checking account is so that you can have a business credit card, keep your business expenses separate, and earn a lot of points on business expenses. The business checking account will make that easier to do. Chase Business Complete Banking. Let's take a look very simple and easy it doesn't have a fee as long as you keep a two thousand dollar minimum balance you will get it's a fifteen dollar monthly service fee but no monthly service fees with the 2k minimum balance um, they can accept two thousand dollars in deposits built-in card acceptance with the chase mobile app that's cool if you're selling things at a renaissance fair and you have a stand or maybe you're selling honey or apples at the farmer's market and you know you can just built-in card acceptance with chase mobile app pretty cool i don't take payments that way but if i did i would think that was pretty neat same day deposits no additional costs and you do have physical branches if you are someone that needs to go to the bank for some reason you can go into the chase bank and you can go get checks they'll print you a few checks for free but then you have to pay for the rest sometimes we still use checks i mean depends on your industry it's nice to have i don't think i have checks for mercury i haven't asked for them because i don't need them because it's so tech but with Chase, yes, I, I use checks sometimes. And um, you do have to pay for extra checks if you run out of checks, but it's pretty good. And it's gotten better since I first opened it. I did have to go in person, but that was like 2016. So I think you can fully open the account online today. As it says here, open now online, except that it doesn't have all those cool like startup discounts and QuickBooks and Zoom and everything and Loom. And there's a $5,000 limit on fee-free cash deposits, a $20,000 limit on digital deposits, and no free wires. Sorry, no free wires. So what are the cons of the Chase account? The UI isn't as good. It gets the job done. The 2K minimum balance can be a little annoying, especially if you're a new business and sometimes you don't have that much in your account, you're gonna get hit with a $15 fee for however many, if one day of the month you drop below $2,000, you'll get that fee. But guess what? You should just give them a call and say, hey, sorry, there's a misunderstanding. Must have hit the wrong button. I, I meant to have more money in there. Could you do a one-time waiver of this? They'll always say yes. If such a loyal customer would love to stay with you if you could just waive this. Just be nice. Here's the thing with business banking. You should do it. It's easy to set up. These are two great options. There are other ones that I researched a little, but I'm not going to give a review because I am not qualified to talk about something I've never used. Those would be Novo, NOVO, NKBC, and Bluevine. These are other popular small business or startup banking checking accounts. Go research those if for some reason these don't work for you, but frankly, just stop stressing over it. You don't need to pick the perfect bank. You can always change banks later. It's easy, it's a checking account. It's not, it's not like rolling over a 401k and having, it's not, that complicated so you can check those other ones out but go with either mercury or chase just keep it simple oh and one more thing some of my friends who are starting businesses oh emily what credit card should i use what business checking should i do a chase business account because i'm getting the chase inc and the trifecta like you told me i'm like no it doesn't matter you can pay literally any credit card from Merc it just automatically like every month it will and always pay your full balance never carry a balance guys please don't live beyond your means Never carry a balance on a credit card. If you are doing that, it means you're spending too much. These banks will play well together. I have both of them. Mercury is simply a better UI. It's way high tech. It's cool. Chase is tried and true. It's legit. And it has branches. It's about all you need to know. And you're going to get a lot more perks on Mercury, though. Like, that's cool. When you're doing a 40% off QuickBooks, things you actually need. Again, this video is not sponsored. They should sponsor it. But I'm happy to help. If you have any questions about business banking, leave them in the comments below. Thumb the video up if you found this helpful.
Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more. We talk about personal finance, voice marketing, startups, travel, technology, whatever I want to talk about. It's on this channel. Got a whole mishmash. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.